This lesson, this lesson is on diffraction and interference. Diffraction refers to the phenomena that you're seeing right now. Diffraction refers to when light or sound or any wave passes through a narrow opening or around the barrier, the wave will spread out and it will act like a new source of a wave. So in this case, you see the red light passing through the barrier, spreading out. It's as though it's a new source of wave that begins right at that opening. Oftentimes we have multiple slits, so for a diffraction grating with two slits, you'll notice that diffraction occurs at each of the openings. You'll notice that we get two sources of wave, and you can see that those waves overlap on the right side of the diffraction grating. You'll notice that on a screen behind this area, that there'll be some spots that are really bright where you have constructive interference. Then you'll have dark areas of destructive interference and then bright areas again where you get constructive interference for a second time. Okay, what's actually happening here if we pause it is you can see the light coming toward the diffraction grating. As it passes through each opening, it spreads out and acts like a new source of light. And you can see there are spots where the waves are overlapping, con overlapping constructively. Okay, looking at this version, these dark, these dots represent spots of constructive interference. And what we're going to do is show you why we get the interference that we do. So if you look at spot A, the wave that gets the point A from the first slit and the wave that gets the point A from the second slit travel exactly the same distance. So therefore you're going to get constructive interference because the waves are going to appear in sync. At point B, that's not the case. We get the wave coming from the top slit traveling a different distance than the wave coming from the bottom slit. If that distance, the difference in distance between the two is one wavelength, then you once again will get constructive interference. If it's half a wavelength, you'll get destructive interference. Finally, at point D, you can see it becomes much more dramatic and the wave coming from the bottom opening travels much farther than the wave from the upper opening. If that extra distance is equal to two wavelengths, you will once again, once again get constructive interference. Okay, the variables that you need for um, diffraction grading, D, which represents the distance between these two openings, L, which represents the distance between the grating and the screen. Delta Y, which represents the spacing between the bright slits. And then finally, the wavelength of the light that is being used on the diffraction grating. And the formula for this says the wavelength of the light divided by the distance between the openings is equal to the spacing between the bright areas, which is our delta Y, divided by L, which is the distance between the grating and the wall. This formula can be used to find the wavelength of an unknown light, or if we know the wavelength of the light, we can find any of the other variables.